Hey guys, it's Hoffa here, bringing you another video. It's been a long, long time since my last video, but I'm in a little bit of a dilemma here. So I decided to make this video, see what you guys think of what I should do. Just like the title suggests, should I retire my Xbox 360? You know, I haven't used it in a long time, I haven't, you know, played it, used it for anything. I've been primarily using just my Xbox One. So, the question came up to me, should I retire it? Should I put it away? Give it away? So, I made, you know, I made a list of all the games that I have not yet played on the 360. I said, before I retire this thing, let me see what I can still do on my Xbox 360. So I decided to go back to actually still hooked up. It's right there. I said, hey, let me see what games I still have on my 360 and if it's still worthwhile going back and playing it. Okay? So I made a list. Bear with me. It's a long list of games that I either started but didn't finish it or didn't play it at all. Some games are still in the case, plastic wrap on it, everything. A lot of them are digital and a lot of them were, uh, I downloaded from, you know, the Xbox Gold, uh, Xbox Gold games or Xbox, you know, games with gold. There you get two, two games every month for free. So, uh, all these games here and I have, I think a total I didn't even number them. It got, it got too sad. I didn't want to number my list. So I'm going to go through them really quick. Okay? And then we'll see. Well, I, w I want you guys to tell me what you think I should do. Should I play some of these games on this list? Should I just uh, forget it and move on to, you know, the this generation's games? And uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let, let's take a look at this list right here. So we'll start with the... I believe this game was a... Uh, Xbox uh, games with gold. It's a world of Keflings. Then play it. Don't even know what that game is. Um, Alan Wake. Alan Wake, the original game, and I believe it's called uh, America. Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Then play either. Um, Arkham City, Batman Arkham City. Obviously, I played, but I have the Harley Quinn's Revenge DLC. You can see that Batman is my is my homeboy. Okay, he's my old boy. He's my old friend. All right, um, but I haven't played it yet. I would love to go back and play it, but time—it's crazy. I have no time right now. Um, Battle Black Theater. There's another Xbox uh, game with gold. Next, Bioshock Infinite. Yes, I know. I, I know. No, no, easy. Be gentle with me. Be gentle. Okay, Charlie Murder. Okay, Dark Souls. I started Dark Souls, but um, didn't finish it. I didn't. I got to like. I wouldn't say I barely started this game. Dead Island. Didn't even play it. Dishonored. Woo! <laughs> Big hitters on here. Didn't even play it. Um, what is this? Uh, Dungeon Defenders. Didn't play it. I have Dust. Fez, Lego Batman 2, DC Super Heroes. None of these games are uh, actually a mistake. Fez, I did play a little bit. I really enjoyed that game, by the way. Just didn't finish the game. I have, okay, so my last one was Lego Batman 2, DC Super Heroes. Now I have Mafia 2, Saints Row the Third, didn't even play it. Shank 2, Sleeping Dogs, Sniper Elite. The Witcher 2. Didn't play it. Yet. Toy Soldiers Cold War. The Saboteur. Crackdown 1 and 2. Didn't even play neither one. I may have tried to start Crackdown, but um, didn't get too far into it. I don't even think I finished the tutorial. <sighs> Rainbow Six Vegas 1 and 2. Didn't finish. I know great games. Syndicate, still in the wrapper, in the case. Elder Scrolls, sorry about that. Oblivion, started it, played a little bit of it, but um, nothing, didn't even finish, I have no idea. 
Fable 3. Medal of Honor. Don't get mad at me. Skyrim. Love that game. Started it. I got my character super high level. It's so easy to get sidetracked from that game that I didn't even finish the game. I can't even tell you what happens. Rage. And my last three games is the Mass Effect Trilogy. One, two, and three. Started the first one. Got to a certain point. Like, must have been maybe a third. Maybe not even a third of the game in. And um, didn't go back to it. I don't know if I was super busy at the time. I was, you know, doing something else. But I um, didn't finish it. Didn't go back to finish it. Now, you don't have to tell me. That's a crazy list. Or at least for me. That, that list... Just makes me sad. Every time I look at this list, it just reminds me of how many great games I missed last generation. There's a lot of games in there that I would love to go back and play. But, you know, by going back playing these older games or trying to find time to play these older games, I'm missing out on the new games that are coming out right now. And this year was such a good year for games, you know, that um, I've already missed a ton. You know, I have a bunch of them. But I haven't, I haven't had time to play. I haven't played it. You know, I was like, same thing that was going on last generation is going on now. But I would love to hear what you guys uh, think of this. You know, are you guys on the same same dilemma as I am? You know, have you guys already put your old generation consoles away? Are you guys only in the new generation of consoles right now? Should I do the same? So thanks for watching the video. Like, give me a like if you like the video. Um, if you like it enough that you want me to you know, make another video maybe with all my Xbox One games that I haven't played yet. And there's a quite a, a few, uh, there's quite a few already that you know I haven't played. So I can certainly do that as well. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Later guys.